Welcome to the homework for third grade, module one, lesson 14. We're skip counting by fours. First of all, though, don't forget your name. Now, for this one, you kind of have to see the whole page at once because it's a big mix and match page. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this and uh, write down the multiples of four as we go, and then I'll zoom out so we can see the whole page and draw the lines to do the matches. So we're skip counting by fours. That's four. And if you just count the uh, the bears, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means we get eight. And now we count four more up from eight. We're going to have 12. And four more up from that, we're going to have 16. And then four more up from that is going to be 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. And after 28, 4 more is 32. And after 32, we get 36. And then we're all the way to 40. And we could, if we wanted to, we could number these rows. And it'll make it a little bit easier. You don't have to do this, but you might find it makes it easier to do the next part. That's row 6, row 5, row 4, row 3, row 2, row 1. All right, and now I'm going to try to zoom the whole thing out. We have 2 times 4 right here. That's 8. We have 7 times 4 here. That's going to go to the 7th row. That's 28. We have 4 times 4 here. That's going to go to the 4th row. That's 16. 8 times 4. That's 8 4s. That's going to go here. 32. 10 4s. That's going to be 40. 1 4. Already done. 9 4s. That's going to be... 36, the ninth row. Three fours. Remember that? Three times four. It's 12. You can see that again and again. And then six times four. That's the sixth row. That's 24. And five times four, 20. That's the last one left. And I'm going to scroll up to the next page and zoom back in. Number two, Lisa places five rows of four juice boxes in the refrigerator. Draw an array and skip count to find the total number of juice boxes. So, we've got a piece of tape. We don't know how many juice boxes there are. But we do know that each box is going to be well, we know that there's one, two, three, four lines makes one, two, three, four. That's five rows. So each row is a box. And there's four in each box. So here's what we know. Four. four boxes and we know there are five rows but we don't know total boxes this is just basic problem solving strategy figure out what you know and what you need to find out and we could draw on the rest of them and count if you wanted to. But we could just write a multiplication equation at this point. Say, well, we could do this. Put four in each one. And then we could skip count all of them. But we just figured out what five times four was on the other page. And you can go back in that other page and look at it. It's five, fours equals 20. 
There are 20 juice boxes in total. Number three, six folders are placed on each table. How many folders are on four tables? So here's our piece of tape. We know we're going to have four tables. There's four tables. And we know that there's six in each table. To make it look like dice here. We know that there are six six folders. And then we know that there are four four tables. But what we don't know, the unknown, is how many total folders. So we have six folders times four tables equals, you can look it up on another page, 24. Draw the rest of the folders and count them all. You can do that too. Now we have to write our statement here because like in the other one they had the statement written for us but now we have to write the whole thing out ourselves um, there are 24 folders in all and we've got one more left Find the total number of corners on eight squares. Now, you have to have some background knowledge to figure this out. You have to know, for instance, that there are four corners on a square. Um, and that's kind of not in the... I just give you, you notice this, they only gave you eight numbers. I have one number to look at, and that's the number eight. That's it. Total number of corners on eight squares. So here's what we do. We're going to draw a tape diagram for this. We have eight squares, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and we know that there are each square has four corners. And then they, each one of these are squares, right? And we know that there are on this whole thing, we know that there are eight squares. But we have to find out how many corners. And since there's four corners, two, three, four, we have eight squares times four, that's eight fours, that's 32. There are 32 corners on eight squares. Uh, very important for all of this, you have to have the tape diagram. You've got to have the tape diagram. You have to have the labels. You have to have the equation. And you have to have the statement. You have to have all of those for all these problems.